In this video, we're gonna talk about what are the differences from transitioning from traditional building and going to insulated concrete forms to the roof. Let's show you a few things. Probably the first thing is you gotta talk about the basement. Okay, how do I go from ICF from my basement all the way through? It's fairly straightforward. Rather than stopping your basement here, and then setting a floor and framing. We just stack another row of block, insert these hangers, pour a little higher. Then at that point, we just set our floor joists, our beams, and we sheet the whole house. And then it's just repeat the ICF one more time. If you look up, you can see like in a house like this, we still do forced air furnace, and we'll do a boiler and we'll run in floor heat. It doesn't have to be a boiler, but those are all items that are the same. Now, this house and this ductwork this is custom because we used a two foot flat truss, open webbed. This basement's actually eight feet, clear, no bulkheads, no anything. One thing I do want to mention, some cool features is I can actually put in bigger windows in my basement. So even though this is only eight feet, I have no bulkheads. My window's actually taller and bigger because I, I don't need a header above it. My header, my lintel is incorporated into the ICF, the wall structure above that. You can look at the electrical, we'll run into that in a sec. You can see the electrical runs up and feeds some receptacles up above. And these are our loops of extra wire. Let's run upstairs. I wanna show you some plumbing, electrical, and a few other things. So this was that electrical you notice downstairs. They just trench this up. They either use electric chainsaw, you can use a circular saw and you just stuff that wire into the trench. You can spray foam that later. The boxes are just a plastic box and they just, once everything's fitting in there nice, they'll just take a concrete screw and secure it and suck it in solid. So depending on how you do your electrical, it's only really the electrical and the exteriors that's different. It's not that hard. You don't have to pre-plan anything. All of this was basically determined after it was framed and we did a walkthrough with the electrician. Let's go look at plumbing. Over here, you'll see some venting. Plumbing's always like, oh, how do you do plumbing? Well, we have a sink here and an exterior. That's our vent. That's common. You would never run a drain or your water lines in an exterior anyway. So here's the drain and our water lines come up through the floor. That's the most plumbing you'll typically see in an ICF anyways. It's not a big deal there either. Now, when you're building ICF to the roof and you're building a custom home and you want lots of windows, some people wonder, well, is it worth going ICF? Because if I do lots of windows, aren't I just losing our value anyway? And my response to that is, is no matter what, ICF by Nadura is substantially better no matter what you do. If you want lots of windows, that's great. The best thing about all of this is it's not that hard to transition from one building process to the next. Everything else is very similar. But what, what is different is the efficiency and the effectiveness of an ICF system. Now, when we carry that all the way through, we have continuous insulation all the way through to the roof. We don't have a floor system that interrupts that and then you got a bunch of cold transfer. Like when you see this foam behind me, when I touch it, we're actually filming it's minus 15. That foam is, doesn't feel like anything. It's not cold. Because everywhere you see ICF is insulation. More efficiency, they're stronger, quieter, up to 10 times more airtight. So you get all these benefits and it's one system. Like once you do it once, you have all those characteristics done. It's not like if you take a traditional, I'm gonna build out of wood and I'm gonna make it as good as ICF. You'll never get there. You're gonna spend a bunch of time on labor, extra material, processes. So that's what I wanted to drive home today. Thanks for tuning in. Check out nadura.com. I'm Cody with Up to Code. Thanks for tuning in.